What's up guys, welcome back to another video alright So today we're going to be doing another car review alright As you guys can see Behind me we have a Honda CRZ Alright so This Honda CRZ is quite special lah Because the owner of this car Is a huge spoon enthusiast alright So this car has been decked out with A lot of spoon parts Alright so as usual We're going to do a walk around of the exterior And interior but maybe this one we might not do a test drive, okay? I just want to show you guys the mods that he have done on this car. Alright, so let's go check it out. Alright, so we're going to start off with the front. So right, on the front here, right, as you guys can see, if you guys know CRZs, you guys will know that this is not a standard bumper, alright? But in fact, right, this is actually a standard bumper, so, you know, but this is the final label bumper, right? So what does final label mean? So final label is actually the final production edition of the CRZ because this car stopped production in 2016. So this is a special edition, lah, right? We can call it a special edition because CRZ, the pre-facelift is a ZF1, the facelift is a ZF2, the final edition, most people will call it a ZF3. Alright, as you guys can see, the front bumper is very different, very aggressive, you know. The grille is also very different, you know, it's, it's a bit wider compared to the regular ZF1, ZF2 ones and the front here, you can see like there's this integrated lip here lah. I don't know how do you call it but I'm going to call it integrated lip lah. so very unique in Malaysia not many people run this front bumper because it is quite rare lah. all right for the headlamps this car is running a set of full LED headlamps also from the final label all right because the standard CRZ right they are using projector one so this is a full LED more modern lah, you know like the Jazz RS the Civic FE and so on you know it's even got DRLs Okay, you, you hold for a while, I'll turn it on to show you guys. Uh, so you can see, you know, it's got some DRLs going on over there. So these headlamps are, are super expensive, lah, guys. So when I was talking to the owner just now, right, he told me uh, he bought them brand new for 12,000 ringgit. A pair, uh, 12,000 ringgit for these headlamps and now on the resale market I think they are going for like 15,000 and I thought the jazz ones were expensive lah the jazz ones are going for like 4 grand this is 14,000 you know obviously the owner has put PPF on it lah because you don't want to destroy these headlamps man they are too they are crazy lah alright so moving from the side okay we go to the side here as you guys can see the spoon concept is very simple there's no aggressive body kits there is no huge GT wing or whatsoever because Spoon's concept is always a balanced lightweight car that also performs well all right so we're going to go to the wheels for you Spoon enthusiasts you all will know that this is a Spoon CR93 okay I know most of you guys are very familiar with the SW388 lah okay the Rega Masters but Spoon also makes these wheels all right so these wheels are actually 17 inch they are CRZ specific size lah so they're 17 inch 7J you know, 45 offset all right so these wheels are quite inset one actually you know 45 is quite inset as you guys can see it is inside the fender right so these are crz spec but for these wheels they also have a four lug version for the jazz gk the ge you know but they are even higher offset they are like 55 or something like that so these wheels are quite rare lah, actually you know uh, flat faced right behind the rims you can see a set of spoon monoblock calipers so your standard stuff lah, right so for the CRZ, you cannot use the twin block because um, they run a bigger tyre and a bigger rotor. So that's why you have to go for the monoblock lah. Alright. So the fitment is not bad as well, you know, you see. You know, one half finger fitment, you know. This car is lowered on a set of uh, HKS Hypermax 4 GT coilovers, alright. The fully adjustable ones. Um, so the owner told me they are pretty comfortable because this car is daily driven lah. In fact, it's 230,000 kilometers already. The owner bought it brand new. Alright. On the side here, uh, this one, memang, all you spoon guys will know that uh, this is a spoon signature, right? The spoon arrow mirror, right? So this is specifically for the CRZ. Um, I think they cost like, I don't know, two, three grand, something like that. So this one, if you fold it, it flips up one. Very cool, all right? But you lose your um, electric adjustment, lah. but if you want to look cool, you got to do it, man. Okay, on the rear, so it's the same. You know, you got spoon wheels. Um, these are a square of a square setup, lah. So no stagger or whatsoever. The rear standard, you know, these brakes with a uh, project mule caliper, uh, project mule brake pads, right? Front and rear project mule brake pads, all right? 
Okay, moving to the rear. The rear is still running the stock ZF1 rear bumper lah. But the owner has already bought, no, actually he already has it at home, painted and ready to be installed, the final label rear bumper. Alright, I'll slot a photo for you guys to see later how does it looks like. Alright, so this is still a stock rear bumper. Uh, on the trunk here, you guys can see a spoon style ducktail because spoon doesn't make a ducktail for the CRZ one. So um, this is actually from US. You know, a company in US does it replicated after the spoon EG and EK sort of ducktail like, because you know spoon signature ducktail is always like that one. If you guys see on the EG on the EK, this is the style lah. You know, they even have uh, some companies that makes it for the jazz as well. Right, so very iconic. Right, on the top here, you guys can see. This is also a spoon piece. Uh. So this is not some aftermarket piece that you can buy on Shopee. Uh. Alright. So this is um they call it a turbulator. Uh, right? So in Evo, you know, Mitsubishi also makes something like this, but they call it a vortex generator. Alright, so essentially what this does is it is supposed to improve aero. Alright, because when your air goes above, you know, this is supposed to channel the air towards the back of the car. Uh, right. Because as you guys uh, can see the CRZ, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a hatchback. But I wouldn't call it a coupe as well. Because I don't know, it's like a two-door hatchback coupe kind of thing with a sloping rear trunk. So I'm not exactly sure how you categorize it. But yeah, so this helps with the arrow. Alright. Okay. Moving down here. In typical spoon fashion, you gotta have the spoon and one rear muffler. Because you know, if you want to build a complete spoon car, you gotta have this. Alright, so the only thing that is spoon is the muffler. The mid pipe and the down pipe is actually a Jay's Racing piece because Spoon doesn't make it. Lah. So if Spoon made it, I'm sure the owner is going to throw it onto the car as well. Alright, uh, in the trunk, okay, I'll show you guys a little bit. Lah. So this owner also DIY kaki. Okay. See this. This is a custom woofer enclosure, guys. DIY. Super clean. Alright, but only one downside. Lah. You can't have spare tire anymore. Right, but it looks very OEM lah, you know, it looks very OEM. Um, you know, you still get your luggage space, you know, with having a huge 12 vision woofer in the rear lah. Alright. Okay, for the interior of this car, pretty stock. Alright, because the owner told me just now, I was having a chat with him, he said this is a daily driven car lah. So, because I asked him, why don't you have the spoon seats? But you know, since it's daily driven, you know, you gotta have the comfort lah, right? So on the interior, nothing much. Um, the steering wheel is aftermarket. You know, for those of you guys with a keen eye, you guys will notice that this is not a stock steering wheel lah. So this is not completely round. It's a, they call it a D shape lah. You know, I would call it a flat bottom. Um, I'm not sure who makes this. Actually, the owner told me, but I kind of forgot already lah. So maybe I'll put it in the spec sheet uh, later on. Here you can see there's a gauge, aftermarket gauge here that the owner has also retrofitted to make it look super OEM la, because um, if I'm not wrong, previously this was the mirror adjustment if I'm not wrong la. so, you know, just start it up I mean, not going to start it up there, just to show you guys okay Key. ah, let me see super cool la, guys, so OEM you know, got a Defi, uh, what's that? is that, uh, what, is that oil temp? Let me see, let me see. Yes, that's an oil tank. Yeah, so quite cool, you see. The interior of the CRZ is standard. Like, you know, still, you know, this car is already 10 years old, like, but it still looks so futuristic. You know, look at the cluster and everything. You know, it's digital. Very cool, like, this car is a manual as well. You know, so for you guys that didn't know, uh, Malaysia actually sold the CRZ brand new uh, as a manual. Like. Right, so that was the last of it already. I don't think we got any other, like, Manual, like cheaper, more affordable Hondas, really. Lah. You know, right now, if you want to get a manual, you got to get Type R already. So, this is one of the last few sports cars you know that Honda was offering as a, a more budget friendly car, lah, huh? I would say. Okay, next we're gonna go check out the engine bay because there's quite a lot of cool stuff underneath. Okay, cut. All right, okay, let's go check out the engine bay. So, before that, you know, we have this beautiful spoon carbon dry carbon hood actually right for the CRZ as you guys can see you see come come take a closer look I think not many companies make this style of carbon fiber and because spoon as far as I've known right their weaves are all very close together they are all very close weaves right so that's what makes it unique like it's very fine you know and spoon's carbon hood right for I don't know for like the CRZ for the jazz right they always go with the OEM look one they're not vented you know you notice most of the spoon carbon hoods 
even for the GK and all, they are all not vented. Very simple OEM style, just that you know it's made in carbon fiber lah. And see, super light lah, guys. Proper, you know, proper sort of uh, carbon fiber. All right. So where is the where are ah, here? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So the first thing you notice in this engine bay, right, is this. Okay, spoon calls it the motor rib, right. So what it is essentially is a multi-point strut bar, lah, right. So it ties to the strut power, the side, and you know in between, you know you have your, you know your crossbar over here and all. So this is a super rare item for the CRZ because this thing has been discontinued, if I'm not wrong, lah, you know, more than three years ago already, and now they are fetching quite a high value, lah. So most spoon CRZ builds are. Ini mesti ada punya Kalau tak ada Sorry lah You will not otai already <laughs> If you got no motor rip How to call it a Full spoon build Right So you know a lot, a, a, you know, The other spoon bits We can see here is You know we got spoon radiator cap We got spoon oil cap um, And some dress up bolts A bit here and there You know you can see here On the side here You know the fender bolts They are all aftermarket bolts You know a bit like um, Iskandar's FK8 right? So these are the password JDM stuff But that's about it, you know. That's about it for the engine bay, lah. Mm, what else? What do you see, Marcus? Nothing else, lah. Oh. Uh, it's got a drop-in K&N filter. Uh, this is just the temperature sensor, ni lah, The sensor for the for the DEFI gauge, lah, right now. Uh. But look underneath, see. Uh, so original spoon hood. Got the tag, lah. The blue color tag, you know, but underneath it's properly sealed, you know, it's even got the original, you still can put your original, um, uh, what's that, heat shielding and everything over there lah. Right, so this engine is essentially standard, you know, your 1.5 hybrid with a 6-speed manual lah. So I've driven a few CRZs already, so they are very fun, they are very fun cars. Um, nothing really much like it anymore lah, right. All the other small details, you know, you got your spoon stickers, you know, you got your windshield banner. Ah, it's even got a signature. Nah. I think I'll show you guys the signature. Lah. Come. So this is also essential. Huh. Ah, but, but, signature dalam. So that's uh, Joe Moto's signature. So Joe Moto is uh, Ichishima's right hand man. Lah. Right. So, you know, every time you go to events, if Ichishima is not there, Joe Moto is there. So you got his signature means you got his seal of approval for your spoon build. Alright. So tell me why, what do you guys think of this car? You know, because uh I like it like it's very clean. You know, spoon cars, like I always say, like it's a very clean concept, you know. You just add a bunch of parts, you know, it looks cool, not too over the top, right? If you want to go over the top, maybe you go for Jay's Racing or Mugen. Spoon Nothing man. Memang no front lip, no side skirt, no rear diffuser. So more to barang tada. Just simple stuff. Alright, but spoon parts, don't get me wrong, uh, as simple as they may be, uh, do it another. Okay, so if you guys want to build a proper spoon build, you gotta check your left pocket first. Uh. <laughs> you gotta you gotta make sure that you are ready for the build. Alright guys, so we're going to end this video right here, okay? We're not going to do a test drive because uh, I've driven a few CRZs already. Lah. And uh, it's an enjoyable car to drive, you know, not huge amount of power, but, you know, you get the nice six-speed manual, you know, agile chassis. It's fun, it's fun, you know, you guys can have a lot of fun with this car. And nowadays, in a used market, if you want to get one, they are fairly, fairly affordable, lah. I think as cheap as 40000 you know, depending on the year, lah. Alright, so... Um, you know, before we end this video, I'd like to thank the owner for bringing his car out for us to shoot and also uh, our friend Amir, you know, he's the one that's uh, been arranging this car. Lah. So if you guys want to check out some photos of this car, you know, uh, I'll link um, his page in the description below. Lah. But I'm sure most of you guys already know who he is lah, because he takes some bomb ass photos, alright? We're not going to do that because we're not too good at it, alright? So, okay, stay tuned for future car reviews, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Oh,